Hi guys, this is Rosita Applebaum and I'm here with a tutorial. Today is October 1st so I was very inspired by very like dark and sultry looks and also I'm using the Viva Glam Rihanna 2 lipstick and it's like this really unique like gunmetal color. The eyes are kind of like an olive but they're not matte so they have like a sheen to them, they have a glitter and the cheeks are very very like dewy and they look very wet. I actually am using the Josie Moran Brightening Face Balm, which I'm like obsessed with. This is the first time I used it and it just gave me like the most pretty dewy look. So I'm really, really excited for this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, but you can always substitute the lips for like a nude or a maroon or burgundy or pink, really any color. The eyes are an olive, but they're kind of like a muted olive, so they're not too green. I like that the lips kind of are a gray tone because it kind of goes with my shirt. This shirt's actually from H&M. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Bye guys. So I'm starting off with Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and this is a pore minimizing primer and it's oil free. Next I'm using the Rosebud Salve and this is just a lip balm to moisturize my lips. And for foundation I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have this in the shade 5.75 and I'm using a damp beauty blender to apply this all over and I'm just bouncing it and this gives me enough coverage where it looks even but my skin still shows through so I'm really loving this foundation it definitely leaves a nice dewy finish and I'm just using like I said a damp beauty blender to just blend that all over and make sure to get every single crevice for an eye primer I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and although I'm not really using a pigment or like a direct glitter I just like using this because I feel like it really makes any like shadow just last a lot longer so I'm just priming my eyelids with that and I'm just making sure to get all areas of the eye and I'm starting off with bamboo this is a great transition color this is by MAC and I'm using uh, I believe a Sigma brush and I will leave a link down below to a code and link that I have for 10% off any Sigma brushes so I'm just going to blend this into my crease and I'm using this as my transition color I like to use a nice warm brown shade nothing too dark but I just like to lay that down first now I'm using this Edward Best Shadow and this is in the color Dusk and I got this on Hot Look. I absolutely love Hot Look and I'm using a Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm just using patting motions just to really pack on the color onto the lid making sure not to get into the crease too much. I just want to focus this on the lid and I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Now I'm using another Edward Best shadow and this one's called Escape and I'm using a Sigma brush and I'm just going to be focusing this on the V or the outer V of my crease and really just focusing it and packing on that color just to kind of deepen that crease up and create more definition. And I love this color, it isn't completely matte but I feel like it just has enough warmth where it just is a great, um, not transition color, but just a great crease color overall. So I'm really, really loving this color and I'm just going to be blending this upwards and then into my crease and I'm using kind of like wind wiper motions as well as little like circular motions to really just blend that in. Now I'm taking a clean MAC brush and I'm just going to be doing a lot more blending and I'm going to take another MAC brush, the 224, a little bit more of that escape brown color and just really bringing that upwards and really high up close up to my brows and then just blending that all throughout the crease and upwards. Now I'm going to just speed through my brows. I'm using MAC Lingering Pencil and I will have an updated brow tutorial. I was kind of rushing my brows this day so I really didn't perfect them here but I'm just basically filling them in, outlining them and again I'm using Lingering by MAC. I love this pencil. It's really really thin. The only thing is if you apply too much pressure it will break. So like I said I'm just going to speed through this because I took forever and it just didn't really like the results but I'll be fixing my brows later on with some dip brow pomade so I'll show you guys that in a minute. concealer slash highlight. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time. It's from the drugstore and this is in the shade Sand and I'm using the same damp beauty blender to just 
blend that upwards and I feel like this concealer is just amazing it has a great consistency and it really gives you a nice coverage and it never looks cakey it always looks very thin and I'm just obsessed with this concealer so again it's Maybelline fit me and it's one of my all-time faves color I'm using this Kiko Cosmetics wet and dry eyeshadow and this is in the shade 200 they did open up a Kiko Cosmetics in Queen Center Mall and they also have one in New Jersey so definitely check that out and now I'm using this MAC pure flash electric cool eyeshadow this has a really neat consistency it kind of feels like butter and I'm just applying that over the olive color just to kind of give it some sheen I'm not going to be creating a dramatic wing this time, but feel free to do so if that makes you happy. But I'm using the Inglot number 77 gel liner and lately I've just been enjoying like a really small wing or very minimal eyeliner. I feel like it goes so well with like these sultry looks. So I'm just using an angled brush and again, this is a gel liner and it's so pigmented. Again, it's by Inglot and it's so creamy. I absolutely love this gel liner. It's one of my favorites. concealer I'm using bare minerals well rested powder and this is one of my all-time favorites and I'm using a not a Sony cash a real techniques brush and now I'm just adding a little bit more of that escape and I'm using a Mac brush to really just focus that into the crease and then I'm going to be taking that underneath my eyes so again this is escape by Edward Bess and it's just like a really nice warm brown color so I'm really bringing this kind of low um, I'm really dragging it down and creating a very smoky and sultry look you know bring it as low as you feel comfortable but I feel pretty comfortable bringing it really low um, it might look a little crazy right now but once you add your lashes and your lower mascara everything kind of just evens itself out and it just looks really nice and smoky just make sure you blend this so it doesn't just look like brown underneath your eye like you want it to look smoky and you want it to look blended and now I'm actually using a pro color by MAC this is emphasize it's actually a shaping powder for your face but I'm using it as a brow highlight it's just a flat matte white and now I'm using Revlon bold lacquer mascara on my lashes because I am going to be applying some falsies but I love to apply mascara beforehand just to create a base for them and it just makes sure that they blend a lot easier and they just it looks a lot more transitioned I guess you can say but I'm just applying this and hitting my lower lashes as well and this is Revlon Bold Lacquer Mascara it's one of my all-time favorite drugstore mascaras it's awesome and now I'm using MAC Costa Riche pencil and this is a red toned brown and I'm using this in my waterline and I'm just going to be applying a lot of pressure I really want this to be very pigmented and I'm dragging it down just a little bit underneath my waterline so into my lash line just a bit this is just gonna be a softer look than black you can use black if you like or nothing at all but I just wanted to add some brown just a pop of color into my waterline lashes I'm using red cherry number 43 lashes these are one of my favorites I don't have to cut them they fit my eye perfectly and I am just um, yeah applying them with some tweezers I will have a video up on like false lashes and what glue I like to use and some tips and tricks but here you can pretty much see that I let the glue dry so I let it get tacky and I'm just using the tweezers to kind of lay them down as close as possible here you can kind of see the glue but it will dry and it kind of looks like they're not all the way down but I promise you that my eyelashes were all the way down and close to my lash line and they were set like they didn't come off so yeah <laughs> For contour, I'm using the NARS Casino Bronzer and I'm just uh, doing a light contour or for me this is a pretty light contour. I'm not using the NARS Eda brush. I'm just kind of going along my cheekbones and I'm also warming up the rest of my face. So my temples underneath my chin and just warming up my face because I just wanted to add some color to my face and I'm actually going to be adding another bronzer. This one is kind of just very like matte and 
you know, dark brown, but I am going to be adding a more orangey tint just because the lips and the eyes are very cool toned, so I wanted to add some warmth. But here I'm just using, like I said, NARS Casino Bronzer, but, you know, feel free to use whatever bronzer you'd like. This one's very dark, so um, I'm going to go in with a Marc Jacobs brush to blend everything out and make it look a little bit more, yeah, blended and seamless because, again, this is very dark, so for someone fair skin like me, this can look very like stark and very unblended. So I'm gonna use a Marc Jacobs bronzer brush to really just smooth out all of the hard edges and give me a more blended look. all-time favorite blushes this is MAC warm soul and I'm using the elf blush brush or actually this is a complexion brush It's like $3 brush and I love using this brush for my blush and again MAC warm soul it is amazing I love this blush I want to get margin by MAC but this is again warm soul and I've always loved it but lately I just feel like it goes with every single look and it just looks so effortless and like real it just doesn't look too much it's perfect for the season so I'm just um, applying this pretty low like into my cheeks normally I don't go this far down but I kind of been liking that look now I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in dark brown I love this stuff it gives me that like extra pow to my brows that I really need and it just sharpens them it defines them and I'm using a Zoeva brush this is my favorite brush for this stuff it's just like an angled brush but I just feel like the bristles are perfect for this kind of product and um, yeah I'm just outlining my brows I am gonna have an updated brow tutorial but here you can see I just outlined the ends and I'm using dark brown this is the only color I really like or that I've tried so that's just what I use MAC Viva Glam Brianna 2 lipstick and this is like such a crazy color I like would have never pictured myself buying this or using this like a year ago because it's so like out there but I'm gonna warm it up and I'm gonna lighten it up with some nude but uh, yeah this is a limited edition color and it's um, by Rihanna so it's a Viva Glam 2 so I'm using Honey Love by MAC to give it a more gray tone like I feel like the nude with that kind of copper it created a nice gray color I love gray lipstick I actually don't own a you know pure gray lipstick but I just wanted to create my own so I'm using Honey Love and that's what that looks like so you can leave the lips matte but I wanted to add some shine so I'm using this lip gloss by MAC and it's a gray lip gloss I will leave the name down below I don't have it right here but I believe it's called no I really don't know what it's called but I'll leave it down I know it's part of a collection and here I'm just blending everything out again with that Marc Jacobs bronzer brush I love this brush it is absolutely amazeballs it's pricey but it's so well worth it I love this brush oh and I'm also using give me sun here I'm blending everything out, but I have a little bit of MAC Give Me Sun, which is that orange tone bronzer that I was telling you about, just to give me more warmth and color to my skin. Now onto the highlight, my favorite part of doing my face. I'm using this Josie Moran Argan Brightening Face Balm. I believe this was discontinued. I know they had it on um, KQC or QVC, whatever that site is. But I got this on Holt Look when they had Josie Moran on there and I am so glad that I picked it up. It's kind of like a face balm. It's just like a wet kind of cream product and I didn't expect this to give me such a nice highlight or a dewy look. But this really just gives my skin life like it doesn't look dull anymore I've just been like staring at my cheeks all day it's amazing and then I actually use that eyeshadow the pure flash one by MAC just right on top to give it more of a shimmer and I just yeah I was just <laughs> experimenting basically I'm using an eyeshadow as a highlight so feel free to like play around with your makeup and don't feel limited to what it's supposed to do so that is the complete look I hope you guys like this and found this helpful and um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.